Welcome back to the 12 days of Zebra BI report makeovers. Let's get started. While Power BI offers almost infinite ways to visualize our data, there's one report that is still almost impossible to completely visualize perfectly in Power BI, and that is the profit and loss or the PL statement which is many times not found in such a nice visual way, but is mostly represented even in Power BI as a simple data table. And yes, 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 I can practically hear all of you financial specialists screaming at your computers that this is perfectly fine. However, I would have to uh, respectively disagree. I think that visualizing a PL statement is the only way to broaden its audience so they can completely understand the flow that the PL statement is trying to convey. Another thing to think about when presenting the PL statements is maybe cleaning up the PL statement a little bit and with it presenting a little bit less data. Maybe use different pages to then create a more in depth look into, let's say, a quarterly breakdown of your PL statement, but on your landing page, pretty much just showing one time frame and using things like slicers to help people navigate a little bit easier. But this would make your storytelling aspect a lot stronger than it is with something like this. So in simpler terms, we need to visualize our PL statements to make them understandable and comprehensive to our non-finance individuals. The easiest way to do this is with Zebra BI tables. With just adding in our accounts and our actuals, we can start to visualize data even with advanced charts and visualizations like the waterfall chart without the need of any coding or docs. Then, by simply inverting and resulting some of our accounts and using on visual calculations, yes, you heard me right, adding on visual calculations for some of the metrics that are not included in our statutory accounts, we can get a comprehensive and beautifully visualized PL statement. And if you agree that we obtain a beautiful representation of what positively and negatively affected our bottom line, don't forget to like the video. Another element that was lacking in our initial table was context. Comparing our numbers to previous year or our budget can really help us understand how our accounts are doing. And now to help me show you this, let's look at the initial table. And now if I ask you, are we doing good or bad? How good? How bad? Why? It's really hard to answer all these questions without a calculator and massive willpower. However, with Zebra BI, it's completely different. We can see that we're not doing so good because we're 10% below plan and we can also discern why. Well, it's because revenues are barely making plan numbers and costs have skyrocketed. Also, by adding a couple of comments, we can add even more context, especially for people that don't understand exactly what's going on or are maybe doing or working in different departments and giving a comment to why something has happened, like why the costs are so high, can help everybody understand the whole picture. The last enhancement that I would suggest is using the interactive tools that Power BI gives you, like slicers, to help you navigate throughout your financial reports. Now, when you use slicers, ensure that they don't use too much space and that they do not take the focus of the data. So using something like drop downs for higher categories can be very beneficial. And of course, if you can use a slicer to maybe change your calculations from month to date to year to date with a single click, you're a winner. And if you want to implement this kind of changes into your reporting right now, you can find the template in the description below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and be here tomorrow for another awesome template.